Tons of good cars to watch. 15 laps as it gets a little bit louder. We are green. That young flag man just working that arm, trying not to drop the flag. Nicely done. And Von Ruden's going to jump to the top. But hey, this is what the heat race looked like. It was Von Ruden and Breeze for about 10 laps. Now they're going to have to contend with Wallace, who's up front quickly. All right, we've got a whole lot more pressure going on here now. Take a couple of laps for this to shake down. Up in the corners goes Justin Marshall. Dan Linehan having problems, as is Pearson. What a goofy way that this one has started. Linehan out already. And Von Ruden will take lap number two. Then it's going to be Wallace, Breeze, Finnegan, and Atkinson. There's a different top five. Morphy's already passed six cars working on Drizkowski for number seven. White, uh, yellow flag is out. We've got debris in turn four. Yeah, there's a chunk of something up there by the red wall. Sitting in front of him. Caution. Command post saloon. Hornets off of turn four are green. With the quickness, a lot of separation already. Von Ruden and Wallace, two by two on a turn four. Man, they're awfully close. And Von Ruden will take the lap. Breeze right behind. Top three are checking out this one. Finnegan and oh, Atkinson bobbles out of the corners. Drakowski couldn't take advantage. There goes Morphy shooting past Finnegan. Morphy and Finnegan for the number four possession. It's going to belong to Morphy. Top three better get out of the way in a hurry. As your fast timer's coming on strong, it's Von Ruden, Wallace, and Breeze. Morphy and Finnegan are top five, and here comes Paul Finch into the fifth position. Morphy has joined the top four in the first five laps. He's trying to get past Wallace. That may be a tougher task. It's still Von Ruden. Six in, nine to go. Here comes Finch to join the front row party. Morphy past Wallace for third. Working on Breeze for second. Morphy has passed 11 cars, and he's going to battle for the front row with Von Ruden. Draskowski slideways into the corners. And Morphy from the back row has now taken the lead at the halfway mark. Incredibly done. Paul Finch wants to join him in the three car. He'll go to work on Von Ruden for second. He'll take that spot. Breeze still fourth. You're pointing to Wallace back to fifth. Dreskowski running in the number six position. Then it's going to be Finnegan, Pearson, and Linehan, Atkinson, Hendricks, and Marshall. With five to go, can Paul Finch catch the leader? Finch is sure going to make a try at it as he's slowly reeling in Morphy, something that's not the easiest to do, Rick Porter. Sure isn't, and he's doing a really good job of this tonight. Race for third now is Von Ruden, Wallace, and Breeze. Von Ruden currently holding the position with four to go. Paul Finch, again, now lifting in the corners. He's got it down to two car lengths as Morphy bobbles out of four. Von Ruden having to play defense against Wallace, Dreskowski, and Breeze. All chopping to the bit behind him for third. Back up front, again, it's Finch trying to close in on Morphy with two to go. 
Bench awfully quick on the back straightaway and into three and four, but Morgan's got the handle on the front straight in one and two. For Paul Finch, you got one more shot. White flag is out, one to go. Wallace working on Von Rudin, so is Drizkowski. Those two touch in four. Checker flag is in hand. The most winning is Hornet driver of the past two years. Mason Morphy gets the checkers. Finch second. Von Rudin will finish on the podium in third, and it's going to be Wallace and Breeze, your top five. Out of turn four, going to be more interesting down below as we are green. More quickly to the top spot, and that is going to be tough to chase down. Jay Reigns, we know, has the motor for it. Laufenberg and Poff are just going to try to finish respectively. Not going to give up. Matt Moore, Jay Raines, Kevin Laufenberg, and... Kelly Poff, one, two, three, four. Should be a caution-free minivan race, Rick Porter. Knock on wood, no Diker Jinx. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to watch that Diker Jinx tonight because it's been it's been enforced a little bit earlier. So uh, yeah, I think these guys will be able to handle it though. I think it's a black iPhone up here with Keith Richards on the uh, screensaver. It's a pretty heavy iPhone, too. That's heavier than my Pro Max. So Matt Moore going to steadily keep Jay Reigns at bay for the next 10 laps. I'd still like to see a field of about 20 of these at the same time. That would be so cool. Someday we might actually achieve that. Again, if you lost your black iPhone, we've got it up here in the announcing tower. Hate for you to leave tonight and not realize your phone's not with you. Yeah, that's a really empty, hollow feeling when you realize that you don't have your phone with you and you're not well, sure you're feeling naked. I didn't have well, yeah. my iWatch the other day at work and I felt naked. Yeah, it's like something's missing. It's like not wearing a belt. I couldn't get away with that either. Isn't that outstanding? It's Matt Drezkowski, <laughs> chaos winner. <laughs> All right. Should have figured it was Matt. He just, That's going on Facebook tomorrow. He, he just had to have another excuse to come and give me another <laughs> high five, right, Matt? <laughs> the one and only Matt Drezkowski. <laughs> the one and only for sure. That was outstanding. Back up front, Matt Moore watching Jay Reigns get ever a little bit closer. Kelly Poff in the 37, enjoying his first race. Six is Laufenberg. Back up front, nose to tail we go. Going to get good for six laps. Moore and Reigns. Reigns, your fast timer tonight. Little bump and run action. I love that term, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, bump and run. Sure. I tried it on the interstate. It didn't work too well. No, they, they don't tend to like that out there too much. Here it's okay out there. It's $400 in damage. Wow. Moore almost went round and round. <coughs> oh, Moore's given a lot of drivers the victim end of the bump and run of the past, so <laughs> don't be surprised. Poff is going to be used as a pawn in this van game of chess here in a moment. Here's where Moore should slam on the brakes and accelerate. Slam on the brakes and accelerate. No doors open at all. You're not suggesting a brake check, are you? Three and a half to go for Matt Moore. Can he continually hold off Jay Reigns? Oh, 
Will Reigns try the outside rail or cut it inside? No room to move. He was on the back bumper again. Two laps to go for the minivans. Reigns thanking Anita Reinhardt for letting him drive that van tonight. That's a 2000 Chevy Venture that Reigns is in against a Chevy Uplander. White flag is out, one to go. Reigns blows it to the outside. Here we go, side by side. Oh, too high in turn two for Reigns. He had it there. He had it there. Checker flag is out and Matt Moore holds on for the win. Reigns followed by Pop and Loffenberg. That was a good and show. Loffenberg third and Pop fourth. Reigns had it right there too. Driver to contend with. There's going to be a good one here. 15 laps of the Dawn's Auto and Truck Scoring Center. We're green. Eighteen six shooters supported by Toma Area Credit and almost went three wide. Tim Murphy backed it out. Oh, here we go! Hard shot. Dreskowski into the wall, courtesy of Fry. Got cars all over the place in turn four. I'm gonna go green this time by. Let's get him nose to tail. Gonna be a big scramble to the front and on this one here. Now they know what their opponents are gonna do. We are green for 15. Lockington and Brown a much better start this time. As Brown's gonna take to the high set, he's got a full head of steam coming up a turn four. Lockington will catch back up, but Brown's got the lead by that much. With Gratz right up the middle. Three wide, Gratz not messing around. Again, three wide in the corner, says Murphy's going to back out of that one. McCracken's coming around strong. So two laps in, it's Gratz, Brown, McCracken, Lockington, and Murphy. Yeah, man, I'd say these guys are moving tonight. McCracken's already up to second, starting on the outside of row four, right in front of Brown Hill slide. Yeah, they're definitely out there getting it done. Lockington holding fourth, and it's going to be Murphy, Moore, and Greg Brown. Good log jam for that number four position as Andy Moore was all over the place. He'll give the spot up to Murphy and Lockington for the time being. Grotz facing the back end of the field already. Feather King gets the advice to drop low as the leaders are coming around. Oh, Swerving Morgan turned around and turned four. They're splitting him left and right. Oh, Moore's going to collide with Morgan. Chair caution flag is out. Malibu Maxes. See who gets the whole shot as we go back to green. Pretty much simultaneous there. McCracken, a full head of steam down the front straightaway. Back to the lead, he'll go. And then a whole bunch of shuffling as McCracken brings him down the front straight. Gross to second, Murphy third. Here we go again, 57 in the wobbly move with Beacon. And now Fry's got problems in the 20 machine off the track. He'll go back up front and still McCracken. 
Geneva Co. going to work, or uh, Andy Moore, that is, going to work on Tim Murphy awfully fast. For position three, it's son versus father. For position five, it's Chris Brown versus Greg Brown. Then it's Lockington and Dreskowski. Andy Moore back to the quarter panel of Tim Murphy for third. They drag race each other out of turn two. And Moore is going to take the position. That number one car is going to get some victories here sooner than later. I'll guarantee you that much. Man, is he been impressive this year. Yeah, he definitely has stepped it up a little bit. He's actually got a feature win from a couple weeks ago, so he's he's definitely got a, a good season going this year. Position five again is Chris Brown versus father Greg Brown. They're going to go two by two into the corners. Surprising that Seth Genevico has not worked his way to the front in that Jimmy John's 27 after capturing fast time tonight. Now he's kind of getting hung up in traffic back there a little bit, as, as is Chuck Muller. Three to go. Leaders coming around more lap traffic. Another King going down another lap. But it's Grotz and Moore. Moore still has a chance to finish second if he can catch Mike Rotz. Two laps remain for McCracken to hold on. Moore all over the back in the Grotz's 73 machine. Tim Murphy a solid fourth and Greg Brown still battling his son Chris for fifth. White flag is out, one to go. Been a while since Dustin McCracken's been in victory lane. He was in uh, Dawson Fry's car pretty much all year. Out of turn four, checkers flying high for Dustin McCracken. Grot second, more third, fourth will go to Murphy and Farah. Fifth will be Greg Brown out of lacrosse. Fifteen laps, we let him loose. It's green legends time. Man, do they get it out of the corners quick. A little bit too high for Mark Anderson Jr. He's gonna go to the tail end. It's Tim Brockhouse gonna go to work on it. Rose Bortrager already. Inside now outside. And he leaves the door open for his son Eric to sneak in. Ayrton Brockhouse, quick timer in front of his dad for second. Rose Borntrager on the radio show last week said she loves this division. They're fast, they're easy to work on, and it's a good group of drivers. As Aaron Brockhouse now goes to work for the top spot, he's got it. Gone. It's Aaron Brockhouse, not Tim Brockhouse, going to work on board Tracker. He'll take second board Tracker back to third. She's going to battle with 15 of Andrew Board Tracker. Yes, they know each other quite well. Top three trying to check out a pair of Wilders. Running bumper to bumper in the 81 is Ross, 01 is Elliott. Not a whole lot of break in these cars in Porter. You can hear them squeaking sometimes heading into turn one and off of turn four, but otherwise not a whole lot of break. No, these guys really do know how to get around this track. A good spirited battle between the 11 of Kale Slade and the 8 of Mark Anderson Jr. Look at those guys who went bumper to bumper towards the back road on the back straight. Been like that for a couple of laps now. 
Up front here in Blackhouse. Taking care of business over his dad, Tim. Third is the 15 of Andrew Bortrager out of Elroy, Wisconsin. Halfway home already. Caution free. And Ayrton really starts to open up as that machine has got the heat in the tires and he's got a good fix on this racetrack. Brockhouse, Brockhouse and Bortrager, five to go already. Got legends in all four corners of the Tony's Pony Speedway. In a lap traffic, they're going to go. Ayrton Brockhouse clears the 18 of Amanda Bore, uh, Amanda Brockhouse, that is. That's the daughter, Tim, and the sister of your leader, Ayrton. Three to go. It could be 100 degrees outside, and they haven't even had a chance to work up a sweat yet. Pretty much all the legends modeled after 1934 coupes. You'll find one or two every now and then with some different variations on the back end or the front end. Tim Brockhouse's nose looks like it's a little bit longer than his son Aaron's. White flag is going to come out for Aaron Brockhouse. Those in the tail end given the uh, passing flag, let them know leaders are coming around. Checkered flag in hand. He's going to be dead by seven lengths of a car. Aaron Brackhouse, your feature winner. Tim Brackhouse, second. Andrew Bortrager, third. Elliot Weiler crosses fourth. And Russ Weller tie rounds out the top five. Seven cars, 15 laps out of the turn four. We're green. Love when they backfire, that big clang. It's nice to throw a big ball of fire, too. That's kind of cool. Lockington and Hendricks, nobody giving up the front row quite yet. Lockington will lead lap number one. As long as those two can stay up front, the likes of Vian and Moore, who pretty much stole the show this year, can hang behind. We really applaud Shelby Lockington, been the only female driver of the hobby stocks for a long time. And she really has come a long, long ways in the last couple of years. Till the heat race wins back to back here, showing the boys that she can get it done. <laughs> Lockington and Hendricks. Lockington still holding on to that slim lead. Very impressive run of the front row. Whitcraft and Muller still locking horns side by side for second and third and fourth. Moore has worked his way up past Charles Vian Jr. And Shelby Lockington. Aaron Hendricks wanting to stretch it out and he'll take the race lead five laps in. You got to watch more in the outside rail though. Moore gets a chance to get past Whitcraft and go outside. He'll be the one to watch. Oh, problems with Muller. May have scraped the back straight wall. Lockington, or Lockington that is, ooh, Shelby Lockington pulling up lane of the 38. Something's wrong in her machine off the track. She goes. Well, look at Aaron Hendricks. He can walk away with two races tonight with huge leads. Whitcraft and Lockington are going to duke it out for second and third. 
And then it's Moore and Vian. Muller off the pace. Moore didn't just didn't have enough room to go up the middle there. He was looking at it. Halfway home, and Aaron Hendricks has set sail. And it's a good thing because here comes your leader, Andy Moore, challenging Whitcraft for second. Six to go. Just like the heat race, Andy Moore was bottled up about midway through the pack with Vian and just couldn't get loose. Now he'll try to chase down Hendricks with five to go. We've seen Andy Moore do this in the past. Aaron, nobody's lead is ever safe, and he is coming with a full head of steam. Hendricks needs to hold on for four more laps. Lockington trying to make it happen again. Something's broken the back of her machine. A lot of sparks coming out that time. Andy Moore still coming. 20 car lengths. He's got it down to one. Now he'll go to the outside of Hendricks with three to go. Hendricks trying to pull off an impressive win. Out of the corners, we're going to have two laps remaining, and it is at the line, Andy Moore. More to the top spot. Hendricks back to second, Vian third, Whitcraft fourth, and Lockington fifth. White flag's going to fly this time by for the 19. Checker flag is out from all the way back to the front. Andy Morg is going to get the win. Vian etches out second past Hendricks. Hendricks a good solid third. Whitcraft fourth and Lockington to the top five. Out of turn four, we are green modifieds. DeVito trying to get to the top quickly. He does. He's got to hold off Marthaler. He wants race cars in between his 19 and the 100. Wouldn't it be something if Jason Stark won in a modified that he's never been in before? That would really be something. I'm saying any modified, period. He is a wheel man. Rick DeVito going from the top to the back just like that in three laps. Mark Fowler up in the third. This is going to be a dogfight with these top three. Oh, yes, it is. Absolutely. Larry DeVito having one of his best years here at the Thomas Sparta Speedway behind the wheel of a modified. And Stark's giving him fits over the back end. To the outside goes Stark. This could be impressive. I mean, to take down the point leader is one thing, but to do it when you've never driven a modified before, wow. But we still have 10 laps to go. Mark Thaler, best seat in the house, watching the front row develop. Vian holding strong in fourth, and it's DeVito. Jason Stark as the race lead. DeVito's going to try to keep it to the inside. Not enough grip. There goes Stark. And Stark has his foot into it now. He's been helping Bill Shot with his racing program the past couple of months. Now does he give the car back to Bill Shot? <laughs> That remains to be seen yet. He's having too much fun. 
don't let me miss thing. He's having a blast out there, isn't he? Bartholomew going to put a challenge now on DeVito, almost head over to the outside. High end turn number one. He'll keep it out there. Bartholomew really only one of the modified drivers that can get it to the outside to make it work for him. Maybe not right now, but he's going to keep challenging DeVito as the laps wind down. We are under five. DeVito doing a nice job of playing defense. Man, does he protect those corners well. No room to sneak underneath that 19 machine at all. No, he's not going to give you the inside. Three to go for Stark. In the signal system, Chevy FR1. I knew Stark was going to be good in the modified line, but I didn't know he was just going to go put a class on for these drivers. <laughs> He's taking these guys to school big time. Marthaler now look to the inside of DeVito. White flag is out one to go. Marthaler not done yet. Trying to work over the 19. One more peek to the inside goes Marthaler. Not going to get it done. He'll finish P3. Checker flag is out. Jason Stark, your modified winner. DeVito second, followed by Marthaler, Bayan, and DeVito. How about that?